Hi, so in this video what we're going to do is going to look at solving quadratic equations and remember a quadratic equation is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c and when we're solving it we're generally sticking it equal to zero. So there's a number of ways we can do this. The first way we can do it is by finding factors and I'll just go with an example to show you what I mean by that. So if I have, for example, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0, you can see here we have all three of our coefficients a, b, and c. The way we can do this is by finding factors. So what does that mean? Well, what we do is we look at the plus 6 and we look at the plus 5 here. So the constant, what we are looking for is we are looking for two numbers that multiply to make that constant, but also add to make the number in front of the x. So if we go up to the side here and we have a look at 6, we can see that if I write out the factors of 6 or the what the factors of 6 are, for example, 1 and 6, 2, 3. Don't forget we also have negative ones as well, so we'd have minus 1, minus 6, and minus 2, minus 3. So 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 times minus 6 is 6, and minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. And what we do then is we draw two brackets. So we get the brackets here and here, and it's still equal to 0, and we put x in each of the bracket because the x by the x will give me the x squared. And now I look to see which one of these pairs on the right hand side will give me plus 5. So if I have a look at the first one here, I get 1 plus 6 and that gives me 7, so that's no good. Look at this one here, 2 plus 3, that gives me positive 5, so therefore that's the pair I want. So I want that one here. Then once I've worked out what pair I want to stick in, I just put plus 2 in here and plus 3 there. Now it doesn't matter which order I put it in, I could have written it x plus 3 bracket x plus 2 is equal to 0. The order doesn't matter because what we have is multiplication. Now I haven't quite solved this yet, but what we can see here is that either this bracket here must equal 0 or this bracket here must equal 0. So what we do is we break it up into two bits. And I can say that either x plus 2 is equal to 0, or from here we have x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we have a very simple equation to solve, and that means that x on this side is equal to minus 2, or on this side we have x is equal to negative 3. And we're finished. Now sometimes we don't have all three terms in our quadratic. So, for example, we might have had a missing c term, so we might have the form x squared minus 17 is equal to 0. So, notice we don't have any x's here. It's still a quadratic equation because we still have this x squared term here. So, what do we do here? Well, the quick way to sort this one out is to take the number across. So what we have then is x squared is equal to 17. So all I've done is I've taken that minus 17 across to the right hand side. Then in order to get rid of the square, so in order to get rid of this square here, we have to do the opposite. And the opposite is to take the square root of both sides. So if I take the square root of both sides, <coughs> I get x is equal to the square root of 17. But don't forget, when we take a square root, we get plus or minus. We're expecting two answers for a quadratic. So whenever we do take a square root, we must remember that there are two answers, the positive and the negative. And you can write that as x is equal to minus root 17 or x is equal to positive root 17. Okay, so that's when we're missing the x term. What about if we're missing the constant? So for example, suppose I had 2x squared minus 5x 
is equal to zero. So here you can see we have no C constant. We just have the X squares and the Xs. This is fairly straightforward. All we have to do is we just have to factorize it like we would normally, a simple factorization problem. So here I look at both terms. So we've got 2x squared, we've got minus 5x, and I look to see what's common to both. And as you can see here, the only thing that is common to both is the x. So I take x out, and how to get from x to 2x squared? Well, I have to multiply x by 2 to get to 2x, but I want 2x squared, so I have to multiply it by another x. Minus, in this case, and see we've got minus 5x. And what we do is we have to multiply x by minus 5 to get minus 5x. And that's equal to 0. So just to show you again, to recap what's going on there. So x by 2x will give me the 2x squared here. And x by minus 5 will give me the minus 5x there. Once I've done that, I'm using exactly the same idea as before. That we basically have two brackets. It doesn't look like we have two brackets like we had over here. But we actually do. So there's two th solutions that I'm expecting. And one of the solutions is from here. And x is equal to 0. And the other solution is from here. Which is 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. We don't have to do much with the one on the left. This one's already been solved. x is equal to 0. Fairly straightforward. And now we've got to look at the one on the right. So 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 5, and then x is equal to 5 divided by 2, or 2.5. Now those are the three ways, or the three different types of quadratic equation that you're going to get to solve. Hopefully this will make it easy for you to A, pick one it is, and B, then solve it.